Hey guys, Dr. Daphne board certified dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about antioxidants and why they are an essential part of skincare. In fact, if I'm gonna rate skincare, that's number two, antioxidants sit just behind sunscreens. In fact, they are well ahead of things like retinol, your niacinamide, your skincare acids, and a whole heap of others. So in this video, I'll explain antioxidants in a way that's hopefully easy to understand, easy to grasp, and I'll give you some tips and tricks in the context of which antioxidants, which I rate very highly, and which can be useful to accelerate your skincare plan. So antioxidants, they're basically a group of molecules which help scavenge free radicals. Free radicals basically are elements which can damage your DNA and your cell wall. And free radicals, the most common source of free radicals, and believe it or not, the sun. So UV radiation can cause that. Additionally, environmental factors such as pollutants can increase free radicals. So an antioxidant is a molecule which takes up an unpaired electron, thereby neutralizing that molecule and making it, um, I guess, expendable. So that's what antioxidants do. Antioxidants are not only important in the skin, but in your daily activities, because that helps regulate your cell's immune function and can even decrease things, for example, like cancer. So we know that foods contain um, antioxidants and the foods high in antioxidants, which you can supplement your diet with, includes things like fruits. Vitamin C or ascorbic acid is the number one. But then there are other things as well, such as nuts, berries, whether it be uh, blueberries, goji berries, strawberries, they all have antioxidants. And then when you look at leafy green vegetables, including beans, um, as well as kale, they're very high in antioxidants. So in the context of skin, why do we need to supplement our skin with antioxidants? So remember, they are the second layer of defense after sunscreens. So on a day-to-day -day basis, you want to wash your face, clean your face, pat dry, put on a coat of antioxidants, and then after that, your sunscreen layer. So in the context of skin, antioxidants do uh, one of four things. Firstly, they can protect your collagen. So your collagen is basically degraded by longer wavelengths of light. For example, UVA, UVB is a shorter wavelength and hence it's absorbed in your epidermis while UVA goes down dermally or deeper. When it goes down deeper, that's when it can affect your collagen, your elastin, your hyaluronic acid. So antioxidants can protect your collagen, which is an essential part of any anti-aging skin routine. Secondly, uh, and I guess more importantly, is that antioxidants can decrease the amount of dysplastic cells. In other words, cells which are abnormal, which may or may not lead to more dysplasia, which may or may not lead to cancer. So, there's various research that has shown that um, nicotinamide or niacinamide B3 taken orally can decrease sunspots. And the figure they give is anywhere between 23% all the way up to 40%. So if you have sunspots or sun damage, certainly um, antioxidants can decrease the amount of possibly precancerous cells in your skin. Topically, using niacinamide, there have been two studies that have shown that the um, decrease in cellular keratosis or sun dysplasia is there with topical as well, however, not as marked compared to oral supplementation. So a good supplementing uh, regime is between 300 to 600 milligrams twice a day. So the third thing which antioxidants can do for your skin is to reduce pigmentation. So we know that UVB and UVA can be blocked out using broad spectrum um, sunscreen. However, blue light in what we call HEV or high energy visible light is not usually blocked by sunscreens. Now, blue light and also high energy light can actually cause um, free radicals. And the free radicals can damage your cells, but they can also increase pigmentation. So on that basis, we do advise sunscreens that protect against blue and light, but also antioxidants, which can scavenge free radicals, decreasing the amount of skin pigmentation. This is especially important for darker skin types because we pigment much easier compared to someone who's thin skin type one or skin type two, which is fairer skin type. Now, the four things which antioxidants can do for your skin is markedly decrease inflammation. And why is this good? 
because antioxidants can help decrease inflammatory skin conditions, for example, like rosacea, especially when you take that um, in combination with medical therapy, but it can also decrease inflammation associated with psoriasis and various other inflammatory skin disorders, including lupus. That's not our preferred way of treating these conditions. However, they can be adjunctive or supplementary. So antioxidants, in summary, can reduce skin inflammation. Now, what are the antioxidants? What should you look for in a skincare routine or skincare um, product that has antioxidants? So basically, dermatologists would always gun for the top three, which is your ascorbic acid, so your L-ascorbic acid, your vitamin E or tocopherol, and your ferulic acid. So as you know, SkinCeuticals has form formulated this. This is not a free plug for SkinCeuticals, but I'm just giving you an illustration. They've basically formulated CE ferulic acid consisting of 15% L-ascorbic acid together with vitamin E and ferulic acid in the one formulation. So the other product can, that can actually help is something called silymarin. Silymarin is basically milk thistle um, and that has got potent anti-inflammatory effects. That's especially useful to mop up the free fatty acids from C. acnes, which is the bacteria implicated in acne. So that can indirectly reduce the amount of free fatty acids, which can decrease the amount of C. acnes, which can decrease the amount of acne. So certainly using antioxidants can also help inflammatory conditions like acne. One of the biggest antioxidants over the past three to four years is something called resveratrol. Resveratrol, as you know, we've, if you've seen many videos um, from a few Harvard scientists, have shown that being an antioxidant can actually increase the longevity of certain animals. So you'll see a lot of people supplement their um, intake with resveratrol. That can be found mainly in uh, phenols, for example, such as wine. Um, and that's why they say red wine is a good antioxidant, but obviously take that into moderation. Okay, there are two more I'm gonna bring up, which is basically um, coenzyme Q10, which is very cheap, very affordable. We've talked about vitamin E, but another one is vitamin B or niacinamide. So niacinamide, like I said, can help in regards to decreasing the amount of possible pre-malignant skin cancer. Uh, but it can also scavenge free radicals and also protect your collagen. So practical tips on how you should integrate this. Now, you can buy yourself a standalone, like I said, you can buy yourself CE ferulic acid, but if you want to actually buy a standalone where you don't have three different things, you can actually just use your L-ascorbic acid. It's shown that L-ascorbic acid, if you apply it, usually it has its antioxidant role for about 36 to 48 hours after application. So if you're gonna use it, your L-ascorbic acid at night, for example, to treat your pigmentation and boost your collagen, chances are for the next day, generally speaking, if your ascorbic acid is well formulated, it would still remain in your skin and hence will have its antioxidant roles. So by all means, your CE ferulic acid as a combination, your L-ascorbic acid, that can range between 10% all the way up 20%. So a few good ones include um, SkinCeuticals, Abaji, Murad makes one as well. So these are all good formulations. If you're on a budget, the best antioxidant is vitamin E. You buy that for literally three or four dollars. It is a very good antioxidant. You can use that during the day, in the morning, or you can use that in, as part of your evening routine. Extremely affordable. If you want to actually put more antioxidants with that, certainly you can break up the vitamin E capsule and you can use that as a potent antioxidant as well as a moisturizer. Guys, the other thing you can do is to use something natural. So green tea because of the polyphenols contain um, antioxidants as well as, uh, for example, ginseng as well. So if you're into your natural skincare, green tea, ginseng, silymarin, three botanicals. Guys, I hope you liked that video. It's a short video, but I hope you understand the importance of antioxidants and how to integrate that into your skincare routine. Please like, comment, share, and by all means, subscribe. Bye for now.